my name is Tal Ar, and I am in Berlin because I have an exhibition here with nine, I think nine paintings. I will now explain them so you don't have to see them because the thing about great paintings is that you can explain them over the phone. So we should imagine this as a phone conversation. In the old days, women wore dresses, men went to the barbers, as houses were made of wood. There were more fishes to fish and more rabbits to shoot, the roads were made of mud. It was hard to find a phone box, one could carry guns, I didn't have to go to the supermarket. It was great, it was nice, it was yesterday. These paintings are done in a kind of old-fashioned way. They are done with the rabbit glue, which is like coming from the skin of the rabbit, and then pure pigments. And it gives this kind of pale surface, dusty surface. It looks like pastel, or it looks like somebody puts too much, you know, of this powder on their cheek, like Piawat or some, somebody like that. It's a bit difficult to work with these colors because you have to make up your mind quite uh, quickly. You cannot just add and add and take off and add. You very quickly get into a narrow road where you have to finish. So you have to be kind of straight with what you want to do. Most of these paintings, no, actually all of these paintings, they were first shown at the Kunstverein in Hamburg some months ago, and the title of the show was The Elephant Behind the Clown. So it's something, you know, the elephant that rises behind the clown, you know. It's like the clown is there in the front laughing. He's not aware that the elephant behind him is on two legs, and any moment can kind of crash on him. And I think that goes back to something in the painting. They are very friendly and they're colorful, and, but there's like something in there that all the time is on the edge of falling down, collapsing, like an ice cream, you know, melt on your arm on a summer day. There's something kind of unsettled in them. You'll be true. I think I throw in whatever gets people on the dance floor. If I put a rabbit and people think it's cute and I get the paintings start to communicate with them, then the rabbit is fine. If it takes uh, a, blonde, a blonde woman on a couch and that gets people on the dance floor, dance floor means they start interacting with the painting, then that's fine. I think, you know, the thing you see on the painting, whether it's a Chinaman, if it's a, a woman, or horses, or corridors, or a frog, or a rabbit. They are, of course, important, but they are more introductions to lead people into the work. All these paintings are a bit like carnival. Certain things that I dress up, and now I dress them up like this, next time I dress them up like that. I built you an airplane, it never left the lane. I built you a huge bed, I set fire to the shed. I bought you a nice dog, I killed it with a log. I really want to marry you, I don't think you'll be true. I think I'm, I'm really an expert in doing the paintings. I'm not always sure if I'm an expert reading the paintings. I think I try, I think an artist develops structures and ways to load the painting with intelligence. And it, the painting in the end should always be more clever and more, yeah, have more depth than what I can explain afterwards. It's not that I don't want to take responsibility, but I spend so much you know, time and effort in loading the painting. And I think if I should also be the one that should be an expert in reading them. I would be a real clown, but not one of those clowns that make people laugh. Just 
just a clown that is not even funny or sad, just a clown. <laughs>